Hi, this is Nini. I think some of you are wondering about what happened to my um, regarding my keloid scar because my keloid is a very sensitive skin so I got that from my from my mom so my mom anything a little bit of uh, you know uh, scratches or anything it will be prone of keloid so my blood is so very sensitive so I got that from my mom so basically we are like that so it some of us we got uh, I think only me and my sister got but the rest are okay we don't have that keloid form but I think due to the chicken packs when you pick prick them and then the then because the chicken pack is a it's a virus that time and I, pr I prick them and you know this is like uh, it is yellow is discharged and then you know without realizing uh, after like a month or for quite a while it's it's something like becomes keloid so i didn't think about that because i was so small i was like a teenager side i didn't realize that it's gonna happen to me so when i was in taiwan because uh, i'm working in taiwan for so many years when i was in taiwan 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 doctors are quite really good so they i had to do some um uh, ask some question for them and things like that and i find out that uh they he said oh that's so that's so easy and then they told me that i need to do some injection every month and so the injection i give that to the doctor here in the uk when uh, when i try to do outpatient department and i give them the name but they they, they put a different way of medication here because Taiwan is uh, different but it's a steroid steroid injection I didn't know but in Taiwan they allow steroid injection to do it every month so I don't know why so I had some injection at the outpatient department Royal Infirmary and I had like sometimes I just waste my time to go there because it takes too long to wait just for injection because our GP doesn't do it that is a bit strange but yeah so they had i had like three session only they managed to do the third session i just skip some of them because i'm i'm in a queue for so long and they're just wasting my time to go there and waiting for hours and hours just for injection that i could do it in the surgery so what happened is so when i go to the last point of my session uh it was a nurse saying to me that it's it's no good uh to have the this kind of injection steroid injection for my health but i said to him if it's bad to me why the chinese doctor given this to, to me or taiwanese doctor given this to me so that's that's my that's my my experience so i have no problem when i was in taiwan because everything there you can get straight away and uh, here that you go to one of your GP in Taiwan, their doctors are everywhere, uh, but it's all in the system. So you got record in the system and everything they can see wherever hospital you go or doctor straight away. So and uh, unlike here, you go call your GP there, you just walk in. You have to pay like two dollars only for the doctor. Even the dentist, you just walk in. No, no schedule to see the doctor so yeah it's so easy over there but you have to pay two dollars just to see the doctor doctors fee everything is free medication no matter what you work and whatever whatever your income is okay so we go through with this uh fluoroxocortide so this fluoroxocortide i'm taking this every month so i got prescription every month until now so I keep this until my keloid start to uh, flatten so what happened is for the past eight years look it's really good because it's flattened now and some of them are flattened now really so it's really good it's really good because it's a tape instead of the steroid injection it's a tape so it's a tape that you can wear 24 hours don't have a problem even you go to shower so that one is really good so if you are got a uh, keloid form is advisable I can recommend this 
so this is the tape actually because it's uh, so small it's only uh, 20 centimeter is not a lot so I order make it 40 centimeter to last me for a month so that's why I'm doing this is my new this is monthly uh, request that I got from my GP yeah so the other one the biggest one look when it's the biggest one now it's going down so it's flatter now it's flat this only left le. so it's nearly there actually so it helps it's flattened because it's a steroid steroid uh, tape so if I did injection it will be gone long time but because steroid cream steroid injection is not good for you so this is a little bit left yeah this one so this is the keloid guys this is the keloid look at it it's flat now it's flat now so it's nearly there so maybe by this year or uh, next year it will be flat and more so before it's a bit longer like that now the, the part of this one is flat so it's really work very well for me because i just cut it and then put that one down so even you go swimming it's that it's not bothering you because it really works it really works so if you have a keloid if you are uh, prone of keloid do that so my my son was asking for a snack so that is this mu few layer it's white it's not too bad now compared to last time so it's flat the blood is flat now this is only one left and this one and this one is only left so in my because i'm also prone for for my cesarean i got that but now i got those medication that uh flattened the myceloid and it's flat now on my cesarean side so it's really work so this one if you want to try i can guarantee you that it's gonna work because based on medication i can't recommend to anyone because this is this is the thing that i had experienced you know and to be honest if you want to try why not Be because i know it will work being i have a family doctors my uncles is a doctors in america and you know i grow up with family medical terms and i'm also family of uh, medical and i know how its medication is through the books of medicine so this one because here uh, you need to ask them so i got this option and i said yeah i will take it because steroid injection are not allowing me so so the peroxide tape is quite really good so if you want to to ask your doctor because i know for sure ask honest answers for you guys because you asked me this question and yeah i'm glad that we found this tape i know sometimes it's really run out but this because there's one thing that last time it's run out something but nearly this one is gonna then they they, they they don't continue the pharmaceutical company or you know pharmacy uh, uh make manufacturing this is they they stop some something that i used last time that they stopped taking they stopped manufacturing it so this one is good typha farm and fluoroxide cortide for micro so take this guys if you want if you are got keloid scar do that because cream is not really working with me keloid cream but this one is working with me and that's the best that i got it from now on and even it helps really well 100 percent i guarantee that thank you for watching and i will show you one day if it's gone now i think this one is gone now it's not really bad now it's flat a little left yeah as you don't see now but it's really well well sorted yeah thank you for watching